Hey guys, welcome back to my channel A Cricket. Today I will be analyzing Delhi Capitals and Mumbai Indians ahead of the IPL. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So when we come to the strengths for Delhi Capitals, Delhi has plenty of game changers and match winners with the likes of Rishabh Pant, Robin Powell. Boy, that will be a good duo to watch out for. They also have David Warner, who except the last season has been a beast in the IPL and even for Australia. They have Mitchell Marsh as well, who is in the form of his life and will want to create an impact in the biggest league in the world. Now their weaknesses. Their main concern is player availability, with David Warner and Mitchell Marsh set to miss at least two to three games, and making the Delhi batting slightly weak and have a chance they could lose all those games. Norke is in the bubble. But with him not a hundred percent fit, their fast bowling is looking fragile. With just Shardul Thakur the only pacer in decent form, they have Sakriya and Khalil, but you can't really rely on them, can you? Yes, they have Angidi and the Fizz's backups for Nokia, but admit it, they aren't the same level as Nokia and Azhar Bada, whom they released when they chose Nokia over him. Now I have made two elevens. One without David Warner, Mitchell Marsh, and Nokia, and one with them. Now, who will be their X Factor players? So, number one is Rishabh Pant, number two David Warner, and number three Robin Powell. Now, the team when everyone is available is a good team to reach the playoffs. With three big players returning, but the first team will have to learn how to manage without Warner, Marsh, and Nokia, which does create opportunities for players like Bharat, Sarfaraz, Seifert, and even Angidi and Fizz to perform. Do I see them reaching the playoffs? It's going to be a tricky one, but Delhi may just reach the playoffs. And even if they win, let's say one game out of the first three, I think they will still be good to go and will be boosted big time when their big guns come back. This is a team to watch out for. Now, when we come to Mumbai Indians, they have a strong core with Rohit, Bumrah, Sky, and Kishan. Rohit and Bumrah are one of India's best players, and Sky and Kishan are massive game changers and can single-handedly win you games. They also have the firepower in the middle with the likes of Tim David and Pollard, who are both six-hitting machines. You can also add Daniel Sams to the mix as well. He was phenomenal in the Big Bash and went absolutely bonkers. They're shaping up to be a pretty good batting lineup. They have the understanding of knowing how to win a championship and get players together and work as a team. They have a fantastic captain who has won five titles for them and is also captaining India phenomenally. Now, when we come to their weaknesses, Jofra Archer was always going to miss this season and will come only in 2023. Their bowling looks absolutely fragile for this season, with Bumrah the only experienced one. They have Timal Mills, Daniel Sams, Mayank Markhande, who have little or no experience in the IPL. Unatka showed good signs in 2017, but he isn't the most effective anymore either. They have invested heavily in fast bowlers, but when you look at their spinners, they have Markhande, Murugan, Ashwin, who haven't been playing consistently in the IPL over the last two seasons. I feel they should have bid for more players like Chihel in the auction, even if it meant they were going to build a smaller squad. Next year, if things are fine, they will need to go to places that are spinner friendly and I feel they lack an experienced spinner because this tournament isn't happening in England after all, it's happening in India. Now this is my playing 11 for Mumbai Indians. Now who will be their X-Factor players? The number one is Ishan Kishan. Number 2 Surya Kumar Yadav and number 3 Jaspreet Bumrah. Do I see them reaching the playoffs? Mumbai may be 5 time champions, but this year they may not be able to make it. They rely heavily on their scouting team and their big guns, and I won't be surprised if they don't make it. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be back with Punjab and RCB tomorrow. Until next time.